a very good morning kids in today's class we'll be doing the topic called isomerism and specifically that of structural isomerism before i actually go to the formula or the system of structural isomerism we need to know what do you mean by the word isomers isomers refers to those compounds which have got the same molecular formula but their structural formulas are different you can draw many structures from the same given number of carbons hydrogens oxygens whatever it is given to you the first example that i am taking is that of pentane knowing it very well pentane being a hydrocarbon has got five carbons and how many hydrogens we can calculate that how about it your alkane has five carbons and 12 hydrogens because it is an alkane it has a general formula of cn h2n plus 2 So if n is five, your hydrogens automatically add up to twelve. So this is your formula for pentane. If you draw the possible structures, the simplest out of them would be a straight straight chain of carbons. These straight chain of carbons would have hydrogens automatically, where each carbon should have a satisfaction of valency of four. The first carbon has one bond, so there are three more hydrogens. The second carbon has two bonds, so two more hydrogens. Again, two bonds, so two more hydrogens. Again, two bonds, so two more hydrogens. And the last one will always have three hydrogens because it will only have one bond towards one end. This particular compound can be illustrated in a bond line formula like this. If you remember, during the bond line formula, we do not write carbons or hydrogens. We only mention the lines. There are one, two, three, four, and five carbons. This is the bond line formula for the normal pentane. drawing the second formula for the same molecular formula the structure could be like this this particular structure would have 1 2 3 4 carbons in a row where the fifth carbon is a branch the fifth carbon cannot be put here or here because it would lead to same structure as a pentane it is just a continuous chain of five carbons if you put it here it is still a chain of five carbons if you put the methyl here so you cannot do that it would end up in the first structure so you can put the methyl group either in between either of the two carbons the centrally placed carbon if i want to draw the bond line formula for this particular structure 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 this is normal pentane but if i want to draw a structure for this the structure would be 1 2 3 4 carbons here and the second carbon has a methyl linkage like this this becomes your bond line structure this is called as 2 methyl butane drawing the third structure when i'm talking about the third structure it is that of possibility where i'm going to take the third structure does not have five carbons in the row neither does it have four carbons in the row it would only have three carbons in the row that is i have one carbon two carbon three four and five total of five carbons again when you draw a chain of three carbons like this you cannot put the next carbon here this would become the fourth chain so it would be something like this so if at all you want to introduce any different structure the branches have to be in the central carbons like this satisfying the hydrogens of this structure i end up in three here three here three here and three here the name of this compound would be this i take the longest chain of hydrocarbons so it is a propane and there are two methyl groups at the central the central carbon is the second carbon so the name becomes 2,2 dimethyl propane drawing the structural formula as is i was just explaining would be like this it can also be done in the bond line format the bond line format would have one carbon two carbon three carbons the three carbon are done you still left with two more on the second carbon you have one and one two this is the bond line formula for this particular structure the bond line formula for 2 methyl butane is this this is the bond line formula for the first isomer like this so what have we done we have taken a molecular formula and tried to devise possible structures from it and in the structures your compound number 1 2 and 3 are referred to as isomers of pentane and these isomers are also given common names this particular isomer the second one is also called as 
iso pentane an isomer of pentane which is a common name while this is called as neo pentane neo referring to a carbon which has no hydrogens to it while this iupac wise you write it as pentane but the common name is also n pentane where n is just referring to normal pentane these three structural formulas which we have drawn out of the given molecular formula are also called as the chain isomers because your parent chain has changed in length so the first category of structural isomers under the category of isomerism done today is chain isomerism thank you i end the class here